All right, so in this tutorial, we're going to do some upgrades to the paddle. We're going to make it uh, a basic one. We're just going to have it centered around the mouse instead of uh, uh, spanning out from the with the mouse at its top left corner. We're also going to uh, do some tweening, uh, a la that video we watched in class. Uh, so the mouse or so the paddle will be able to sort of uh, slide towards the mouse uh, more smoothly rather than so jerky. We'll also do a little tweening on the um, the height of the paddle so it'll look like it's kinda zipping over there like it's narrowing when it's going fast um, okay so first of all we're gonna start with uh, mouse moved and now instead of mouse or we're gonna add a new variable actually first off sorry we're gonna add a variable called private double a target X so that's going to be the X position that we want the pedal to go towards and so instead of directly editing X here, we're going to edit target, or we're going to send whatever is sent over through from the mouse moved, like whenever the mouse is moved, we're going to grab that and put it in target X instead of directly in X. And this will allow us to play around with it a little bit. In addition to that, um, we're going to, uh, instead of saying that it's the target X is at mouse X position, um, we're going to say that our x value is at mouse x position minus the width of the paddle divided by 2 and that should do uh, that should center the paddle for us problematically now we're only checking the right hand side for collisions so we need to uh, check the left hand side of the board for the paddle to go off there so if target x is less than 0 then we just want to set target x to 0 Okay, so, but now we're still not doing any sort of tweening, and we're going to do the tweening and update, uh, because as the paddle is updating, even if the mouse isn't moving, the paddle continues to sort of glide towards the, um, towards the target position. So all you have to do to make it do the gliding is x plus equals, so x uh, equals x plus, and then we're going to do target x minus x, times 0.1 or in our case I actually tested the values and I think 0.3 is a little bit more reasonable uh, but we can try 0.1 so you can see it uh, actually let's just try 0.3 it's hard to control at 0.1 um, okay so that should make our uh, mouse glide towards the uh, or the paddle glide towards the mouse now um, if your program doesn't look like mine at this point the tutorials have gotten a little bit uh, scattered in terms of what I have and have not implemented at various points so just think of this as like an addition to the paddle if your paddle didn't look like mine it's fine but just add these things regardless of what your paddle looks like you should be able to add these things alright so let's run the program and see if you can see that the mouse in fact is kind of pulling the paddle not directly yeah you saw that I should turn off the loser thing we should do it again I'll actually play the game a little bit so you can see it uh, the mount, the paddle will slowly kind of glide towards the position rather than be quite so abrupt. And you could increase that value uh, to make it more difficult. Uh, so if you, or decrease it, I mean, if you decrease it down to a tenth, the paddle, it'll be pretty difficult to control the paddle actually. So like the paddle is really lagging at a tenth. You can play around with those values. I'll leave it at 0.3 for right now. But I also wanted to add something so that uh, <coughs> the height of the paddle is affected. So I'm going to add a variable called diff, which is going to be the difference between the target x and the x value. We're just going to use that. It's going to be a little bit of a um, kind of hack together formula. Int diff is equal to an integer value of um, math dot abs of target x minus x uh, and this whole thing will be oh I didn't need to do that one in parentheses did I? No. Uh, this whole thing will be divided by an arbitrary number 5 uh, that just kind of controls so what this is saying is what is the difference between the target x and x. So absolute ABS gives us the absolute value, so positive value. Uh, 
uh, regardless of what this returns. If it's, if it's negative, it's positive, it's always going to be positive. And let me just divide that by 5 because we want it to be a little less extreme. Uh, this is an arbitrary value. I had to play around with the numbers to get that to be what I wanted. Uh, and then all we're going to do is say height equals start height. And I think I need to add the start height value to keep track of what the original height was. And we have start width up here, but we need start height. And here we go, start height equals height. So we're storing the original height of the paddle because we're going to make adjustments to it. And then back into update, we say start height equals height and height minus difference, sorry. Um, and then we'll say if height is less than 2, uh, we're going to set it to 2 height equals 2, because we want there to be some sort of paddle being drawn at any given time. And now the last thing we need to go do is go down into draw and make a couple adjustments. So we're going to create a new uh, y value. So we want it to draw in the middle. We don't want the paddle. Well, let's, okay, so yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna do this and I'll explain why. Int y draw. We want it to kind of shrink from both sides, not just like shrink from the top down or the bottom up. We want both lines to kind of collapse on each other so it looks like it's zipping back and forth. So that's why I'm doing this. Y draw equals Y position plus the start height minus the height divided by 2. So that puts it in the middle. Start height minus the height, the current height, and then that whole thing divided by 2. And this will give us the Y position that we should draw it, uh, draw it at. Um, to make it look like it's in the middle and so it's like zippy instead of like weird accordion collapsing. And I think that should do it. Let's see if I got it right. So you can see the paddle all of a sudden is a little bit more responsive now, a little bit less rigid. Um, and regardless of its width, the equation still works because we made the values relative to each other. Anyway, so that's a way to upgrade the paddle.